Hi, Mitch. Hey, now there's fallout on social media about Governor Walker apparently making stuff up and fibbing again in the case of the Teacher of the Year that he says was laid off because her union in Milwaukee wouldn't accept a different health plan, even though the premiums wouldn't go up, but the union said no to a different health plan. Well, that's not true specifically. An open letter written by uh, the actual high school teacher of the year from 2010-11 said the teacher in question was actually no, uh, somebody who won a narrower category for language arts performance and in fact wasn't the teacher of the year. But that teacher was laid off and that was blamed by this letter writer on Scott Walker's cuts to education. Uh, we hear that all of education cuts, uh, but when they did Act 10, they changed the rules so school boards could save money on health insurance and change work rules, length of the day, anything they wanted to do, which saved them a lot of money. According to the Taxpayers Alliance, 90% of the cuts were covered by Act 10. So are we really cutting education? Are we causing classroom sizes to get bigger if a district saves money on health insurance? I don't think so. You can say if that's a you can tell if that's a cut or not, but I think in common sense terms, that really isn't a cut. The other news from uh, Act 10 was that a lawsuit was brought by David Blaska, former Dane County Board Supervisor and conservative blogger, saying that uh, the Madison teachers shouldn't deserve uh, a contract that goes beyond Act 10 as they did in 2015-16 because of a delay, a window in the law due to a local judge holding it up on a legal challenge. Well, a recent judge said that the lawsuit can go forward, making the teachers live under the provisions of Act 10 like they would in Appleton or some other city. It's painful, to say the least, but as voters in a Republican democracy, you've had three chances to take Scott Walker out in four years, couldn't do it to change the law. So in the meantime, we shouldn't have one court in one county give one union a better deal than everybody else. Go ahead and hate me if you want. My two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by... Edge Construction and Capital Consultants, Bill McCosh and the great lobbyists who can change a law and get things done real fast downtown. Capital Consultants, we'll see you next time.